So what's poppin' guys, Ogano here, and um, today I'm going to be doing a Oga another Ogano Talks video, and this the, today's topic is going to be about choosing one thing and doing it well. Now, the, what I want to bring up is that uh, it's important to choose uh, one specific thing and then doing it well, one goal, and then stick to that goal throughout the end. There's no need to bring, you know, to overwhelm yourself with so many other goals. Like, for example, you, you want to make comics, you want to be a detective, you want to be a doctor, you want to start a company. All, I mean, sure, all these things can, can be possible. However, you should stick to one thing, one of these goals, and then see it through to the end. You know what I'm saying? So, like, say if you want to... Uh, you know, make a comic or something similar to that. Just just say, just use comic comics for example. So um, so that's a goal to make a comic. So you want to improve uh, on your art or your storytelling or your writing and what and whatnot. Th those are all pertaining to that one goal to achieve. You know what I'm saying? So now compared to the person that has uh so many different goals like for example wants to be a detective who wants to make comics he wants to make a company and he wants to uh he, like so like all, all of these things are uh look there's a reason why people don't major in every single thing in college you know what i'm saying like majoring in biology majoring in art majoring in uh law and what not all, all, all these other things basically what I'm trying to say is choose one thing choose one goal and then see it through to the end don't overwhelm yourself with so many other uh, goals that you have you know because they, they, they can also come but you know this chill you know chillax chillax one goal and then see it through to the end there's no need for all these separate other uh, uh, things that you need to do just don't don't overwhelm yourself complete one goal and have that move on to the next one you know and um and something else i want to talk about is um uh usually people who do overwhelm themselves that have multiple goals they they some sometimes sometimes what i've seen from my personal experience yeah sometimes they have what i like to call like the end game mindset now the end game mindset is basically uh you think that what what you're seeking is like the finish line like for example the the people who are the people who actually have the skill okay okay let, let's let's go back to uh, the people with the end game mindset so the um the people with the end game mindset want to for example achieve a certain skill you know and but little did they know is that the the um, person who who they look up to or who or whoever already has that skill, their mindset is that they're constantly improving, like there is no end game for them. They're constantly improving, and they always seek out new ways to improve themselves. That's um. That's uh, that that's the type of mind. That's what I like to call the. Uh, creative mindset always seeking to improve always seeking to get better you know there's no end game there's no perfection like like i said in my other video like perfection is an illusion in art because you're constantly imp improving in your craft you know so but those people that you know that have the end game mindset oh this is this is where i have to go and this is it after i after i achieve that I'm good. I'm success. I I am successful or, or whatever. The, here here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. You will always th those people that have that spot. They will always want to keep wanting to improve. The a desire will just lead to new desires to you know just get better. You know, and that's basically um what I wanted to cover. And, uh, and 
and uh, like one thing that I want to mention is like e each of these activities are going to take uh, take uh, they're gonna take time to master so that's why you focus on one thing and you do it well one thing not uh, several different other things or else you're gonna you're gonna overwhelm yourself and then you're gonna stop uh, you're gonna stop trying altogether so um now one analogy I want to use is uh let's use a uh, computer for example um, downloading more than one item from online just just downloading more than one item from online it that's going to take a a lot more it's going to be a, a lot more of a slow process as opposed to just downloading one thing and not only that that one thing comes a lot faster to you compared to the several different things or several different tasks that the computer has to uh to you know accomplish several like all the downloads that is is going to is going to slow down the download time of the computer and it however if you, f if you focus on one thing it won't slow down the download time so uh one thing that i also want to mention is like uh the analogy of the uh computer processing speed like e each every individual e everyone has their own processing speed and you can train yourself to have a certain amount of processing speed you like a like a computer you can update your computer to have like certain processing processing speeds to like have it go faster but however if you if you're lying to yourself like we're, we're gonna bring go back to human terms if you're lying to yourself about what your processing speed is then you you're gonna you're gonna crash you know if you give more than if you give like a task to a computer that has um hmm basically if you overwhelm a certain a computer and it's not right okay this is a perfect example let's just think about running Photoshop and a one gigabyte laptop that is gonna crash okay that's gonna crash so like people so like we're, we're gonna go back to humans now so like uh, we have we have like again a beginner comic artist or, or, or whatever beginner he he sets out this goal to achieve like uh, 10 or 20 pages in a week and then after that it just takes him like an entire week to just complete at just one page and then after that he you know he talks down about himself about oh I can't do this I can't do that but he has to realize that you you gotta slowly update your processing speed in order to produce that many pages don't be so hard on yourself so yeah basically so um yeah basically just just drop your expectations of the outcome or else you're gonna crash you know your processing speed or the, your internal computer is going to crash and then you're just gonna give up completely so that's what I mean by uh, so like like once you like give up and you like first of all you talk down to yourself and then after that that brings about mental blockages and then after that it'll take even longer for you to improve it might take like a good three years of you to improve as compared to one like three years for the mental blockages one year for a person that you know bypassed his mental blockages when it comes to whatever endeavors that he wants to uh, take take place in you know so um yeah that, that's that's basically the, the talk yeah, so I hope this guy, this this uh, you know, I'm I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be doing more of this stuff. So yeah, I hope this advice helped you. And yeah, later, guys.